Hello students, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm a breast cancer surgeon and a surgery faculty. And in this video, I'm going to discuss how to go about preparing surgery for the NEET and the proposed next exam, which is going to start from 2022. Now, first, I want to talk about the NEET exam. So we know for a fact that NEET is going to be held in 2021 and most probably there's going to be another NEET exam in 2022 as well before NEXT is implemented. Right, so those students who are going to appear for the exam in 2021, that is interns and post-interns, first, the first thing which I want to tell you is that stop reading about the NEXT exam, right, because that's not for you, so stop wasting your time regarding that. Okay, so now when it comes to preparing surgery for your NEET exam, I'm addressing two types of students. One are students who have already prepared their notes for surgery from the point of view of the exam and B, those who haven't prepared their notes at all. Okay, so the first category of students, those who already have your surgery notes, I want you to start revising them. But if you've made your notes, almost a year and a half or two years back or more than that, then you need to revise your notes because there have been a lot of updates in the surgical techniques and in the surgical guidelines as well. Okay, so if your notes are more than a year and a half old, please, please revise them. You have various resources to revise them that can be in the form of app videos or it can be form in the form of live classes. That is your discretion, but you should revise your notes. Okay, if your notes are recent, then you start revising your notes and you need to read them at least three to four times before the NEET exam. Okay, in your first reading, you should be very thorough because that is the reading in which you're going to devote maximum amount of time and make sure you underline points during that reading. The second reading can be a bit faster. So what I've typically seen is that a student who's made notes after a class or after watching videos, surgery, it takes them around seven to six to seven days to read those notes thoroughly and underline them. Okay. In your second reading, you can cut down the time. You can bring it down to around four days. In the third reading, which would be much faster, you can do that reading in two to three days. And the final revision, which is going to happen before the exam can happen in a day and a half as well. Okay. But for this to happen, your first reading forms the basis. So that needs to be quite thorough. The second thing is that when you have done your reading, then you need to attempt a surgery Q bank. Again, it can be any Q bank online, offline. That is again your discretion. My recommendation only is that whatever resource you're using, have faith in that resource, right? Because you have limited number of time in the given year and you have to do all 19 subjects. So you don't have time to do multiple resources for a single subject. If you do that, you are basically reducing your time for some other important subject. So don't make that mistake. Now, when you're solving the Q bank, your aim should be that you score more than 70 to 75 percent marks in that. And every topic, the ones in which you're scoring 70 to 75 percent marks, that means your understanding of that topic is good. Okay. But if you're, if you're scoring less, that then you need to revisit that topic. You probably need to read more about that thing and you need to understand the concepts. Now, another piece of advice is that whenever you are solving questions or reading the notes of a topic, you think from a, think from a clinical perspective because this year's NEET exam had a lot of clinical questions in it, which also included a lot of scores which you had to mug up. But always think about it from a clinical perspective and then attempt the questions, right? At the same time, you should also look at the images and whatever volatile points you find, please write them down in a separate notebook, right? This is the concept of the 20th notebook, which you can watch my video on that. It is very helpful at the end. So just write them down in the notebook and this would be your ready reckoner before your final revision, okay? You need to start doing subject wise tests. So this was your Q bank, which you, which is going to be topic wise. But once you are done with one reading and your Q bank and you start your second reading, 
once you're done with the second reading also then you should start doing a mixed bag of surgery questions right and in this mixed bag you should again gauge your performance and see how you're doing again the same target more than 70 to 75 percent is good yeah please keep on seeing updates and new modalities which are coming up so you need to be ready with these resources as well from where do you want to capture these updates i keep on posting them on my facebook page other faculties also do the same so you can get those updates and add them to your notes and that is going to be helpful especially for the central institute exams also okay so this is regarding the preparation for surgery for neat exam that is next year now those students who are going to appear for the next exam that is in 2022 you know the next exam is going to replace your final professional exam and based on this next exam you would be given a pg seat as well so it's a high stakes exam and the catch is that it's going to be held before your internship so you're not exposed to the clinics you will not be working in the clinics before your next exam so then you have to make sure that you attend your clinical postings really well and whatever clinical information you have to gather you can gather it during your clinical postings now for me if i know that i have to appear for the next exam my surgery preparation will start the first day when i enter the surgery ward so from second year onwards i would recommend that you start preparing for your surgery next curriculum okay and you need to be really smart in this preparation i am not asking you to read a standard textbook from second year but what i am asking you to do is when you go to the ward you maintain a very comprehensive logbook and this logbook is really going to be the key to your success in the next exam this is also a video which i have recorded which you can watch on my youtube channel now in this logbook i just want you to write down the cases which you saw so just a two to three line summary of that case you need to write down the diagnosis and if there are some images involved you can always click in your camera you all have fancy mobile phones these days just click a picture there and you can make separate folders say you can make a folder for surgery for robs and gynae and these folders or these images you can always revise whenever you're sitting idle if there's nothing else to do you can quickly revise these images as well and whichever case you see in the ward that day come and read it from a clinical surgery book that is estas and just read that topic from a standard surgery textbook now third year again when you visit the clinics do the same thing but by third year you should now start reading your standard textbook also and please go for a standard textbook like love and bailey lots and lots of questions were asked from love and bailey this year so please read that book don't ignore love and bailey please in the next exam 120 questions are going to be from surgery so there is no shortcut for that okay don't be shy in presenting cases or discussing the cases in the surgery ward with your seniors right there is always an apprehension in the mind of an undergraduate that what if i present and what if i don't present well people will make fun of me don't have that fear you are there to learn you are there to make mistakes but what is important is that you need to learn from those mistakes okay also i would recommend that from the mcq perspective third year is the one where your base should really start becoming strong so if you want to attend a surgery class or if you want to watch the surgery videos start doing it in third year and make those thorough notes and then your work in final year would just be to revise them and to add the updates to them and that will really simplify things for you so in the next exam when you enter final year at the end of the final year you have your exam okay so my recommendation is that before you enter final year all your 19 subject notes should be ready so that you just have to make minor alterations in them during the final year and to revise them and if you can do that if you can do this groundwork in your second and third and first year so first second and third year then you are in a very good position to crack the next exam okay these were some basic tips whatever i've told you the books which i've mentioned i am going to mention them as comments 
below so you can always read through those comments also and if you have any further queries regarding surgery per se regarding how to go about preparing for surgery for the need or the next exam please do write in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer it thank you